Welcome back into the Sports Source. This segment of our show brought to you by Southeast Termite and Pest Control. And if you're like me, you don't like to think about bugs. I hate bugs. I can't stand bugs. I would rather wake up in a bed of snakes than see a bug scurry across my floor. Well, if you are like me and you don't like to think about bugs, there is a simple solution. Call Southeast Termite and Pest Control. They literally protect thousands of East Tennessee homes and businesses from pests and certainly annual termite calls. They come out there and do the annual treatment. Uh, thousands of homes, businesses across East Tennessee. Southeast Termite and Pest Control, locally owned, good family, right here for about 40 years. Give them a shot this week. All right. Want to uh, talk about Tennessee's potential bowl opponents, and you look at it. I, I kind of figured in the Music City, Belk, and Liberty Bowls, and there's they're the teams you could run into. Now I've also just in case, just in case everything goes to heck, and you wind up in the Birmingham Bowl. Some of those teams are in there. Cincinnati, you would see there. They're nine and three. Duke, nine and three. You could see them in the Belk or the Music City. Iowa could be in the Music City. Uh, Louisville at nine and three, that'd be in the Music City. Maryland, uh, that, then you're not going to face them. Possibly Music City. Memphis would be in the Birmingham Bowl. Minnesota would probably be Music City. Uh, NC State would probably be Belk Bowl. Notre Dame probably be Belk Bowl, maybe Music City. Oklahoma State played their way into a bowl last night. Could be the Liberty, West Virginia in the Liberty. You see the four most likely: Duke, West Virginia, NC State, Notre Dame. Let's leave that up there for a second, guys. Any team, Will, I'll start with you, because I know there's one team on there you do not want to see. Yeah, I do not want to see West Virginia just because of their offense. And you, these bowl game practices, you want to get your team ready for next year. So overall, I don't want to face that team and waste my bowl game practices going up against that kind of offense. And then in that kind of game, it, it's a shootout, so you could lose that kind of game. And, and you know, So that would be the one team is just an easy don't want. I think there's an easy who do I want, and that's Notre Dame. I yeah. want big and slow in wintertime because <laughs> we're going to yeah. put a show on. And if you win that game, it's yeah. going to give you a lot of credibility in the national media and recruiting and everything. So I think there's an easy who I don't want, and there's an easy definitely who I do want in that group. It'll also have a lot more recruits watching. Tennessee, exactly. Notre Dame, that's your yeah. best hope, I would think, at this point. Josh, your thoughts? Yeah, I would say Notre Dame. I think there's a list of reasons. One, from a narrative standpoint, you have Brian Kelly versus Butch Jones. They've coached at the same schools. Notre Dame's a big team. Also, at the beginning of the season, they had national championship hopes. They have fallen. So are they as mentally into the game? I think it's a very winnable game as well. And yeah, there are, I think there are some recruiting advantages if you play Notre Dame and win that game. Mike Strange. Uh, one thing about West Virginia, Tennessee has never played West Virginia ever. So I mean, that'd be a good storyline, but I agree with Will's reasons for not wanting to play them. Uh, I don't know if you want to play Duke. Yeah, uh, I, I, yeah. What do you have to get? I mean, Cutcliffe's going to be having his team fired up for it, but also, no matter how, how much he wins there, it's still Duke. How much name recognition and is that? There's Duke not a lot can of crop Duke can beat you. Oh, yeah. absolutely. And, yeah, yeah. And there's another team you definitely don't want to play. That's Memphis yeah. on that list. I mean, you know, yeah. there are just there are certain teams just that don't add much value to, you, and it's only if you don't lose that, if you don't win, yes. yeah. it looks really bad. So yeah. I think those are the games to avoid in this situation. And if you're playing Memphis, you're in the Birmingham Bowl, and you're wonder are the players going to be a little bit disappointed to be in the yeah. Birmingham Bowl. Yeah. Let me show you one last thing here. Looking at Tennessee's last five games, once Josh Dobbs came in, as the team is currently constituted, the only losses were to Alabama and Missouri. I looked at all kinds of statistics for all of these teams. What I found was Alabama and Missouri were the only two of the last five that were both ranked in the top 25 in scoring defense, total defense, and rush defense. Those are the three categories where they matched up and it was a clear difference between the other three teams that Tennessee played. Louisville and Memphis are all top 25 in all three of those categories. Mm -hmm. I don't think you'll face Louisville or Memphis, but if you do, you don't want them. Uh, <laughs> then you got Duke and Iowa. They're each in the top 25 in one of those categories, so they're not bad. But the best matchups of the likely matchups, Notre Dame, bad defense. NC State, bad defense. West Virginia, bad defense. But, Will, your problem with them is the offense. So, exactly. okay. Good deal. When we come back, we're going to talk a little bit more about replacing UAB on Tennessee schedule. We'll talk about recruiting. And then we're going to give you our own bowl projections for Tennessee in the last segment of the show. Come on back on the Sports Source.